and welcome back to the Hot Tea channel. Today's video is going to be all about Tana Mojo. She graced us with a vlog this week and she also went on a podcast and spilled some tea, so we are here to tell you all about it. So in traditional Tana style, the actual events of her vlog occurred over a month ago. Jeff and I are headed to Lele Pond's wedding. There are people here that I have beef with. Tana has been on her best behavior as of late as she is taking part in 75 Hard, which is a self-challenge to stick to any diet or workout 45 minutes a day twice a day no alcohol four and a half liters of water a day etc for 75 days and those of you who have been watching Tana for a while know that drinking and going out are a huge staple in her lifestyle so honestly props to her for going through with this challenge anyway Tana bumps into her ex-brother-in-law Logan Paul who reveals that the Jake Paul Tana Mojo wedding wasn't fake after all Jake Paul Tana you had a speech you had a I speech. did have a speech. I had a really nice speech. I went to their wedding. It was not a bit. Tana's trying to convince everyone it's a bit. Tana and Jay got married. True love at first sight. And I was the best man. <laughs> it was very sweet. That was so wholesome, Jake. I don't know why, but part of me still holds out hope that one day Tana and Jake will reconcile and be for real. But Julie also seems great. Also, Jeff and Tana would be cute too. But moving on, look at this clip of Mike Malak fully glitching. If you ever become a porn star, Tana, yeah. your name should be, uh, <laughs> I have many friends who work as sex workers. Wait, what did you say? I didn't say anything. Oh, okay. Are you okay? Are you good? Are you okay? I mean, is he okay? <laughs> What the fuck was that? But other than the goofy antics with Jeff and Tana, that was really it for Tana's vlog, but she also made an appearance on the Zach Sang podcast this week. And this is the second time that Tana has been on this show. The first time was just before the wedding to Jake Paul, funny enough, but Tana explains the difference that those four years has made and who she was then versus now. Everything was just so different then. That was like the YouTube vlog, get views move without thinking era you know i was just posting and doing and being so crazy and hate or love tana i think we can all agree that she has certainly changed over the years i just i thought i had everything fucking figured out and so much ended up happening i don't know i had a lot of life to live and maybe i've said this before but i really think that the split from jake had a much deeper effect than we really know for tana like she definitely makes jokes about still loving him or at least she has in the past but i think this might be a case of her making jokes to try and hide that that is what she really feels i think that she truly loved him and wanted to be with him but of course tana is now with some mystery guy and i cannot for the life of me find anything about him anyway and I've just seen his arm and pictures here and there, but we can confirm that he lives somewhere in Vegas, so there's that. But anyway, back in 2019, Tana didn't really know what direction her career was going to go in, and she says that she isn't still great with knowing that now. I think I always am just like, I'm Tana, and I'm tana hanging around, and somehow it's on camera, and it is what it is, you know what I mean? But looking back, it's like, that time was just so crazy, and I don't think I knew it. I think I was just doing it. I could see how this might be a little bit confusing or even frustrating when this is your line of work. Like, it's just your personality. It's not like she can just release a new collection of who she is or work on a new project based around that. Granted, she has done merch and jewelry, Dizzy Wine, and now her weed company, but part of me wonders, now that she's doing 75 hard and is sober, if she might feel a little unfulfilled with her work sometimes. Now I'm able to kind of hone in on what I'm passionate about and what I love doing and work on projects that I feel like will fulfill and stabilize my future that I love as well. I think I've finally gotten to the point now where I can like say no to shit and I'm not mm. doing shit I don't want to do and like I'm not putting too much on my plate. And She feels like an adult these days and is fully running her own business and she doesn't feel the need to rely on her manager or anybody else. Tana also talks about being on her 75 hard challenge here and that is going to be wrapping up soon. She says that she feels so good and even though when it's over she will be having a little bit of fun, she can't do that old lifestyle anymore. But in addition to her health, being sober and not partying as much opens her up for more hours to do more important things. This is the perfect time to just, especially work-wise, I'm like so focused on Cancelled is about to come back on April 7th. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. 
um, and Tanabis. The producer asks a really good question, and that since you've experienced how positive being sober is, would you consider continuing? Tana basically says that she would, but it's not very fun. She has fun, not to say that she doesn't, but it's a different kind of fun, and she still loves that wild, crazy kind of fun. So I just genuinely feel like that part of life is missing. And it's, I was talking to Jeff about this the other day in the car, and he's been sober for like five, six years type of thing. And he was like, I'm going to be so real with you. Like, that never changes. Like, I'll always just feel like I have less fun than I did now. So that's kind of a hard thing for me to stomach. Speaking of Jeff, Zach asks Tana a very interesting question. Did you have to pick a side in the David Dobrik Jeff thing? Have to is... Very interesting question, Zach. Tana says that she doesn't want to go with the narrative of had to pick a side as that sort of makes it seem like someone made her choose, which they didn't. But she did, in fact, basically pick a side, even though it wasn't easy. I'd known David for a very, very long time. And that is how you would say I met Jeff was through David, you know, and David did a lot for me and my career and putting me in videos and even just like taking the time to be in mine and inviting me to things. I think now, though, that so much has come out about David Dobrik from the past. I reckon that it isn't clear if he helped Tana with her career and was so caring for her because he actually cared or because he saw potential. And now Tana is aware of this fact. You can see, though, that it was transactional, right? 100%. And I think, yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a lot of what this industry is. And I think that you can have a nice friendship with someone and be aware that it is kind of transactional. Like, we're probably not going to have, like, a movie night and kick it and giggle. She says, regardless of that, she can still look back and be grateful for those moments. But when she got to know Jeff and the situation better, she just seemingly isn't closer with David. I think it is one of those situations where you can't be best friends with Jeff and feel right about being close friends with David yeah. or be best friends with David and I guess his friends, you know, they don't want to, it's kind of. Tana says that the severity of Jeff's situation might not be super real to many people and she has sat with him while he's gone through like 11 surgeries and even though he's a super resilient person, it's definitely taking a toll on him. And it hit Tana that there was just no support from either side. Basically, David was not being a good person during all of this and it just clicked for her. Tana actually does address how she was still going to David's house for parties last year. And there was a gray area time too where I would had still was still attending Dobrik events and stuff like that. And then it just got to a point where it was like, I don't even though this is just transactional LA bullshit where I pop into a party now and again, I don't even want to do that. But that doesn't happen anymore. I don't ever want my best friend to feel like I don't 100% ride for him. Tana even says that while she would be at these David Dobrik events, friends of that friends group would be like, oh my god, we miss Jeff, I love Jeff, and Tana would just be like, basically, where were you, in her mind. Zach, the podcast host, calls it exactly what it is, and it's that those people are fully relying on David Dobrik's bank account and clout to keep them relevant and successful, and it's sad, but true. Even though he doesn't even make vlogs anymore, I just don't know this like chokehold that David has this group in. That's one thing about me that I just, I can say for my own personal thing. If I ever put one of my friends in those positions, I would be fully indebted to them and so transparent about that on and off camera, no matter what. I, I wouldn't just be kind of trying to make it go away. Tana says that she has watched Jeff pay out of pocket and worry about his health all of this time and it's just not cool. As a matter of fact, when Tana brought up the interactions that she had with the quote friends of Jeff and David at these parties, they came out online and accused her of lying. It's clear that they are just scared of David Dobrik or at the very least scared of losing his support in this industry. But she says Jeff is now surrounded by really good friends and people and he is so strong for having gone through what he did and now he can stand on his own and doesn't need the vlog squad or David. And that's honestly so true. Jeff's barber show and his podcast do very well and with Tana and him getting along so well and making plans for their own show in the future, his success will only continue to grow and in my opinion, he deserves it. And as for Tana, she is working hard, looking forward to completing 75 hard and is really in her businesswoman era. And to be honest, Tana, we're kind of proud of you here at the Hot Tea channel. But for now guys, that is going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the Hot Tea channel, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new uploads. And for now, you're so my bleach.